Uh, yes, I've got that one. Yep, that too. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. Um, not nothing, nothing. Just, just keep going. I just found something. Well, I mean, we might not be able to even watch Moon Knight, Silas. Wait, what? I uh, promised someone else I'd do something with them. Who? your big breakup. Fine, actually. You know, it's kind of funny, though. I honestly don't even remember his name. Yeah, I hear that's been going around lately. What the fuck is that? Tyler, come in here. What's going on? What the fuck is that? Dude, this thing just appeared out of nowhere. So what do you think it is? I have no idea, dude. Neither do I, but I know someone I think might. You could take down our entire operation if you wanted to. Too bad you're one big, giant pussy. come get you and take you to another time where you can live a full life. I look forward to meeting you. My name is Matt Miller. Hello? Listen, I know this won't make much sense at first, but you have to listen. Somebody very important is in danger and you're the only one who can help him. Um, what? Well, systems are functioning. Everything is in order. The Secret of Nim is a 1982 animated film and is the first film by former Disney animator Don Bluth, the same man behind great films such as An American Tale and Titan A.E. Hey, I'm right outside your room and uh, got a surprise for you. The Secret of Nim is an adaptation of a children's novel, Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. The main character's name was later changed from Frisbee to Brisbee to prevent problems with the Waymo Toy Company.
Released to critical acclaim, The Secret of Nim was a moderate box office success, and has still been hailed as one of the greatest non-Disney animated films of all time. The hell is that? What should we do? Hey look, it's waking up. You must help me. The fate of the world is at stake. What does he mean? Yeah, I like... I've just escaped deadly drones that threaten our world. What can we do to help? Uh, can I see you over here for a little bit? Dude, do you really think we should help that guy? Well, you know we're the only two who can. <laughs> Whatever, dude. It's getting way too weird for me. I'm out of here. Following the sudden death of her husband, Jonathan, Mrs. Brisby prepares to move her family out of the farmer's field and escape the plow. However, her son Timothy has fallen ill with pneumonia and can't go outside. To whom it may concern, if you're finding this, it means I'm dead. And I'm sorry, but you are too. They have seen to that, and there's no stopping them. With the help of a clumsy crow named Jeremy, Mrs. Brisby visits the Great Owl, who tells her to visit a group of rats, led by Nicodemus. Ah, uh, no, he's a creep, and I'm pretty sure you are too. Well, Valerie, don't hang up. Mrs. Brisby discovers that the rats live deep under the farm and are able to use electricity and other human technology. Yeah, I mean, I love movies and all, but he just, he doesn't do anything else but film stop talking about movies. Every time he would come over, he would, I would play video games and I'd ask him to play with me, but instead, he would just talk about his feelings. Such a dumbass. And have you seen his closet? All he wears are t-shirts with movie logos on them. Mrs. Brisby meets Nicodemus and learns that many years ago, her late husband and many rats were experimented on at a place called Nim. I was with health and safety, but I poked too deep into this conspiracy, and that's when they caught me. The rats escaped Nim and have been living under the farmland unnoticed until Nim finally tracks them down. Listen, Valerie, something very bad is happening, and he needs help. So why don't you help him? I can't help him. Not against these things. What things? The first phase is complete. The rats of Nim have decided to leave the farm for Thorn Valley. But before the rats can leave, they must help Mrs. Brisby move her family. And to do so, she will have to summon the courage to face Dragon, the cat that killed her husband. Do you want to know a secret? Those things, they're not robots. They're cyborgs. There's something inside them, controlling them. The Secret of Nim launched Don Blue's stunning career, and for the first time, Disney had legitimate competition in the animation industry. Who, who are you and why are you here? Spike Hunter, Time Association. Oh, you guys finally found me. Well, you're too late. And why is that? I just left the Institute. I'm not here for TA business. I'm here for a personal favor. Personal? I was just following orders. I have a friend who thinks otherwise. After completing 10 films over nearly 20 years, Don Bluth completed his career with Titan AE. They're rats. <laughs> the rats that they were experimenting on here took over, and there's nothing that can stop them. A sequel was made, The Secret of Nim 2, Timmy to the rescue. It was a cheesy, lackluster, musical piece of shit, and it was made without Don Bluth's involvement. The drones hurt me pretty bad. They've taken away my ability to teleport. Don't worry, you're in good hands. I know exactly what I'm doing. Why the hell did you bring this thing to my place? This place has really good feng shui. Good feng shui? This is my place, man. What the hell are you doing with this thing here? Remember like those 20 times I took you to Taco Bell? Now I have someone who needs my help, and you need to help me. Okay. Fine, I'll 
Listen, I know he's done some stupid things. But guys do stupid things when they're like a girl. It's working. It's working. Thanks for your help. You'll never be able to stop them. We already have. Farewell, pierogi hen ham. Okay, what the hell just happened? While Don Bluth has still been working throughout the past decade, he hasn't made a film since Titan AE. <coughs> Get saved just to die again. Just trying to save your favorite shirt. Oh, <laughs> not that you would need it. God damn. Why didn't that guy save you instead of me? Don Bluth's films slowly begin to appear on Blu-ray. There have been rumors, speculation, and high hopes that the animation master will return again. Victor! Oh, you're that future guy, right? Where are we? Listen! You have to fight it! Fight what? Prepare for transference. Emergency! Emergency! We are under attack! What is that? Is that who I think it is? Thought you could use a hand? Crowley, is that you? Don't you recognize me? It's just... you've lost weight. He needs our help. Victor! Listen, you have to fight this. You can't let the rats win. Why? I don't understand. <laughs> Listen, do you remember why you do what you do? Uh, what? Review stupid cartoons? I'm done with that. That's what the Reds want you to do. But you can't stop. They're not just stupid cartoons. No, no, you're right. Everyone out there thinks Disney is the only one making animated films, but they're wrong. For now. What? In the future, the head of the NIM is also the head of Walt Disney Studios, and he has bought every other studio. Disney literally does produce every piece of animation. That's good though, like, like when Disney bought Marvel, that was a good thing. It's not good. Cats don't dance. The last unicorn. All of them are sealed away. In the Disney vault. That, that can't be. There isn't enough demand. Everyone's forgotten about them. But you can change all that. You're the one who lets the world know. And that's why Nim wants to stop you. Because you bring about an end to the evil that controls Disney. Um, Matt? You shall be apprehended at once. I can't hold them much longer. Victor, you have to help me. I can't stop them without you. I, I can't do it. I know. That's why I brought this. Victor, it's me, Valerie. Um, listen, you can't be so doubtful of yourself. Nothing could have been putting the impossible girl to you to you. 
Listen, I may know a lot about old movies, but I can't fight robots. Of course you can. You're a gaffer. I'm a what? Oh, hey, peace. Go. Put them on. Now fire. I knew you could do it, kid. What took you so long? What, uh, dude, I didn't even know that you were in here until Pierogi saw you on the security cams. I just really wish that you had rescued me like you should have. You should have been here like 15 minutes ago. I mean... Can't you just be glad that we rescued you at all? Yeah, sure. Here, it's cold outside. Thanks. Wait a minute. You guys actually fought one of those things? Well, at first I took it home when I found out what they were doing to those poor animals. Those poor animals just tried to brainwash me and take over the world. Well, I killed the last one. You're welcome. I'm really glad we're all still friends. Aww, Victor! It's nice, I just... I can't keep this. Why not? Uh, listen. I wanted to thank you for what you did back there with Pierogi. You know, I just like to help people when I see them in need. It's just my thing. Yeah, I get what you mean. Why is all your stuff packed up in boxes? My family's moving to Florida, and I'm going to be staying with my aunt in Virginia. Why... why didn't you tell me? I don't know. How much time do we have left before you leave? This is probably going to be our last night hanging out. What do you think we should do then? Hey, you want me talking about, like, big fish or something over the summer? So, um, what the hell? You're one in a long line of individuals granted superpowers. Evil controls animation in the near future, but not the distant future. All the forgotten gems are known again because of us. And we're gaffos, right? From the Spanish word for glasses. Oh, uh, right, right. Sorry. Well, it's my time to go. Wait, you're leaving again? Don't worry. There's more than just old movies in that vault. We'll meet again. For now, I'm trying not to get killed. Come on. Not even a house fire can take me down. House fire? That reminds me. I think I'm forgetting something. Oh well. I get a date with Queen Elizabeth. Both of them. <laughs> What's wrong, kid? Thought you'd be happy. What with saving the world and all. I am, but it's nothing. Listen, I didn't risk my life helping you just to see you give up before the story's over. The story is over, Pierogi. Silas and I are cool. Tyler's dead. Tyler moved away and Colleen and I are still broken up. Sure, we saved the world, but what am I supposed to do now? What did I tell you? You can't give up that easily. I know, but I don't even know where she is. She doesn't go to our school anymore. Nobody's seen her around.